The best way to power your prototype circuit is with a bench power supply. This is a portable power supply which basically works the same way. One of the best things about the bench power supply is that you can adjust the voltage to what you want. That circuit can only handle at 12 volts. We can go up to a 30 volts or down to 0 0.30 volts with this particular power supply. There you can see I dropped it to 0.3. We can raise it by hundreds of a volt if we want. Bench or portable power supplies also have a current limiting function. Right now it's constant current because we're dropping current below less than what the load wants at 12 volts. The way that a power supply limits current is actually to drop voltage from what you set it to. So it's not providing 12 volts anymore, it's providing a little less than 8 volts. This power supply can provide a lot more uh, current, about 3.75 amps at 5 volts, or 1.666 amps at uh, 30 volts. The higher the voltage, the less current it can provide, because it can only provide so much power. The most current you should put through these indicator LEDs is 20 milliamps, so if that's all I'm powering, that's usually what I've set the power supply at to uh, make sure I don't fry the LED by accident. Now we have a uh, current going through there. These uh, power supplies tend to have short circuit protection. It turns the power off if you make a short circuit connection instead of letting high current flow like that. And we have to turn it back on now to uh, reset it basically. So now even though this is the portable version, it still needs to be powered by an AC outlet. So don't let portable make you think it's battery operated. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.